Okay, I'm going to explain a little bit about the organ and why it is I got involved in this project. For many years I've been thinking about this. I've, I've spent at least 10 years thinking about this. And only it's only recently that I really kicked my thoughts into high gear. A lot of this goes back to when I was younger with my uncle, visiting my Uncle Jack. We would always be amazed that he had this huge theater organ that was in the middle of his uh, living room. And he would always take us on tours to the basement to see the pipes and the ranks of pipes he had in the basement. And he would allow, I, I know at least with me, he would allow me to fire a lot of the, te you know, the pipes as a test because he had little buttons on the bottom that allowed that. So it would be cool to walk through the basement and we could make the snare drum go, the pipes blow, and all that. So that's some of the history. The reason I chose Willie as a name for the first organ and not my Uncle Jack. Um, Willie is my other uncle, Uncle Bill, and uh, he always used to say to me when I was little, he used to say, we'll, we'll grab ourselves a hurdy-gurdy and, and cup and we'll go out and make some money. So he, he always, he, I don't know whether he was fascinated with hurdy-gurdy or just the word hurdy-gurdy, which is basically what this is. Um, this is going to be named Willie. It's still deep in construction. I'm not, I'm not done yet. Um, going back to Uncle Jack, that'll be the next organ. Um, Uncle Jack will be very, very, very complex organ, which I'm not going to call Uncle Jack. I'm just going to call it Jack. Um, so about Willie. Willie is only 20 pipes. 20 pipes, as you can see, looking at the organ, you only see 10 of them in the front. You, see, you can see two of them sticking out in here. Um, but there, the rest of the 20 pipes are buried inside the cabinet. Uh, there's three bass pipes, uh, eight accompaniment pipes, and nine, uh, nine of the fronts are, would be the melody pipes. Um, this, it's a very simple design. You know, it, it's right now we're it's February 2011. I began uh, August 2011. It was the very first cut, of the very first piece of wood. Um, so right now we're about six months into this project. Uh, it's been in about the same shape now for the last I would say two months as I've been trying to tune the organ. I put a couple of videos on already about the uh, about the, the couple of songs that I played. You know, they were very raw, very raw. I could hear it and I could hear a lot of anomalies with the pipes when I was uh, when I listened to it on the internet. It's even it's even more apparent. But now it sounded a little better. I still got a couple of pipes I really don't like the sound of. I've been trying to make adjustments. I remade the lips for them, but I'm almost thinking of just rebuilding the two, two or three pipes. A couple of them are accompaniment pipes, and I got a couple of pipes here in the front that are not really sounding too well. Not really happy with them. I've been adjusting the wind pressure and you know and, and making fine adjustments and I just can't seem to get it. It blows the right note, but it just doesn't have a great sound quality. Um, okay. Um, a little, basically a little bit how it works. Um, it's actually a very simplistic design. You can kind of wind our way in. You can see the air coming in from the uh, reader bar on the top. And uh, as the, uh, the bellows on the bottom pump, the, it goes into the wind chest, which is here, which will fill up and expand. And then it's held by a hot, heavy spring underneath there that you can see. You can see the loop of the spring there. This spring puts down a lot of pressure on there to generate 8 inches of water pressure which then goes up, you can see the vacuum looking hose that goes up to the box and this top box here is actually 
airtight and the air inside the box pressurizes which then as the music roll passes over each hole then air is driven down each hole and to the corresponding pipe um, it's all driven by a crankshaft which is here you can see um, the crankshaft turns a wheel which drives the unit right now it's in the rewind mode but when you engage it'll actually drive the wheel you can see the wheel turning um, this would go into rewind so that the wheel could rewind successfully you can see the crankshaft as well as the everything here I just want to point out is hand built including the crankshaft including including the handle and the knob I turned on the lathe this is just the rear of it this is the rewind mechanism to rewind the wheel and then uh, what you would do is you would take the uh, paper put it on your roll you would crank it to get the paper in and then it would crank up right now it won't play because it's just pulling the paper um, and the box is open as you can see and once the music comes across you can see it coming across the, the reader bar and then it would play the corresponding notes um, I think I'll probably end with a just a little bit of music because I've made some adjustments to it so you can see from the very first I'll play the, the first song Chitty Chitty Bang Bang um, like I did on the uh, that you see on the website already and you can compare the difference it's sounding much better but it's still not a hundred percent